Hey everybody, so in this week's video, we're gonna replace this 35 year old mailbox with one using minimal tools for under $40. So if you wanna see how to do it, stick around. So this is gonna be a pretty basic woodworking project. I wanted to show this so people that maybe aren't doing woodwork but are interested can see how easy they can make something for themselves and save some money using minimal tools. Remember to call before you dig. So I thought that was funny, that was on there. But uh, since we pulled out the other mailbox, we have to clear out the hole and actually gonna sink it down a little bit deeper than the other one. So use some pulse hole diggers just to clean it out. I use a um, four by four, one four by four that I cut to six foot for the posts. Um, you actually probably, I used a eight footer. It might not be a bad idea to use a uh, 10 footer just so you can sink it down a little bit deeper so it's actually two feet in the ground but once I cut it I decided to do a little decorative edge on all the ends just so it's not square and this is the part that is on the underside of the mailbox that you see from the road and I decided just to kind of chamfer the edge and my saw does not actually cut all the way through as you can see so I have to flip everything and cut it twice uh, the mailbox we use was just a simple metal mailbox from Home Depot I think it was around $24 or something like that, but they do also have a $19 version. So I measure the bottom for a board that I need to cut and paint so that I can attach it to the post. So I can't remember the exact measurement, so just measure the mailbox you get. Um, they also have a plate you can buy, but this is, comes out cheaper doing it this way. So I just paint it, and then I'm going to mark the uh, post that's gonna use a half lap joint and I just set my circular saw so that it cuts half the way through and I just make the the two outside passes first and then I just make multiple passes in the inside to clear out most of the material or as much of the material as possible so I do this on obviously both boards seeing as they have to connect together on both parts just make sure that you cut the half lap on the right side since you've cut the decorative um, you know corner corners off of the board and I just used a hammer to notch it up to knock all the pieces out didn't have a chisel to clean this up so I pretty much just used the hammer to clean it up the best I could until I got it the way I wanted it to then I just use four nails on either side just to secure it I use a square to make sure that everything is at a 90 degree angle because you don't want your mailbox sitting funny um, and then I take another scrap piece I had and I cut 45s on both sides. Again, I have to flip the saw over because it doesn't cut all the way through, so I have to cut this both sides. So just be careful when you line up your cuts if your circular saw is the same way. Uh, then I put it on there just to check the fit, and then I'm gonna secure this with two nails on either side just to attach it. So this just is some extra support holding up the mailbox and so that it keeps that at a 90 degree angle. Um, I attach the the board that I painted first to the posts, I do leave about an inch from it on the bottom so there's not, so the mailbox doesn't sit perfectly on top of the post. And then I drive uh, just a couple screws on either side of the mailbox to the, uh, to the board so it's attached. And I sit it in there at the first time to see how it looks. It turned out pretty good. So I use a thing of sacrete and with my maker knife, cut it open. Thanks, Jocko. And pour it in there. I don't actually use water or at first. I do pour a little water on the top. Just, uh, I didn't film that. But to kind of make it stiffen up. But usually moisture in the ground. And if it's going to rain, we'll fix it. Just make sure you tamp it down real good. So the final thing is to attach the numbers on the mailbox. I think these were like a dollar and a half a piece. And I just used the little nails that they came with and attached them on the top so they can be seen from the road. So this actually turned out to be a very easy project using minimal tools. I think I just used a hammer and a circular saw and actually saved money. The post uh, was $7 or you can buy the actual thing already made for like $38. So it actually saves you money doing this. But if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and I'll see y'all next time.